Hello everyone, I'm Steve Venner, G0TAN, and welcome to another in the Helpful Hints video series produced by Martin Lynch and Sons. Today I'm going to talk to you a little bit about the ICOM IC7300 and a little um, quirk, uh, shall we say, a little feature, featurette, um, about the uh, band edges, band uh, beeps, and how that relates to the uh, spectrum scope and things like that how uh, we've had some customers questions regarding well what happens when we tune down to five megahertz things like that also what happens when we do a wide banding on the radio how does that affect the band edges and things like that so that's what i'm going to talk about now so without further ado i'm now going to go over and press some buttons on the radio so i'm going to reset the radio that's fairly easy to do as i'm sure you'll know start off with the the menu button go to set scroll down a little bit to others uh, and then you'll see a reset button on there it says yes we want to do an all reset okay and yes we want to go next we def definitely absolutely want to uh, reset the radio so there we go so we're going to do an all reset so that brings us up at 14.1 uh, megahertz okay so what do we know about the band edges band edge beeps well this is a UK spec radio it's our demo radio and basically what happens is it allows you to only transmit in the bands that you are supposed to transmit in. So if I turn the, the, the dial, the thing that I want you to look at here is the little TX indicator here. At the moment, you can see that we're actually in band. Um, and so if I press the transmit button, I do have a dummy load in the back. You can see the little red light comes on here and that illuminates in a red fashion there. So I turn that off. But what happens when we go down out of band? You see, if I turn that, get down below that. OK, so we have a beep. Now you should see that around the TX indicator on the display, that's actually now dotted. But if I try and transmit, nothing happens. You hear a relay click, and that's about it. So that's, that's one of the features of the band edge beeps and band edges. Now. Uh, if I got that right, no, I haven't got it right. So there we go. So, yep. Now we're back it back in band again. Now those band edges are pre are pre-programmed at the factory, and you can see what they are. If you go into the, again the menu system, and we go to set, and we go to function, and if we scroll down to band edge beeps, at the moment it's set to on. But if I scroll down one page, there's nothing else below it. The next menu item is the RF squelch control. So let's go back up one. If I touch the band edge beep like that, we can say we can switch it off. It's on by default, or we can set it to on um, for user defined um, parameters, if you like. So if I touch that, now if we scroll down, we will see user band edge beep uh, bandages. So we touch that, and now I think there are around about 30 of these. And you can see the way they're set up from the factory by default. So the first one is 1.8 to 2 megs, 3.5 to 3.8, uh, and so on. And this will depend on, obviously, the market where, where your radio is shipped. But you can see you have all these ones here. And there's, I think there's about 30 for you to uh, play about with. Yep. Okay. So if we didn't want to do that, if you wanted to, say, have a... a work on the CW part of the band. Let's say for 14 megahertz, for instance, we can go, go down. Uh, you see here we're currently set to 14 to 14.35. We can change that band to say, let's say go 14, just for an example, 14.1 megahertz to start with. And then we go up to 14.25, 14.25, enter. Right, so that's now changed uh, the, the band edges for that particular band. If we go out now back to our uh, main display you should see that this is actually now dotted and if we go up to 14.1 there we go we have the band edge beeps which is fine but f again as standard we are actually allowed to transmit in that band and if I do press the button even though we're outside of the band edge beeps it will still transmit. So you might sort of have some reason for not wanting it to transmit in that band. So what you can do, I don't know whether you saw it, if we go back to the set uh, function uh, user band edge, we touch that, uh, sorry, we go up again, band edge beep, 
it's on user if you go on user and TX limit if we touch that one what happens then is if we're now outside of our newly created uh, band edge band edges it will not allow us to transmit which is fine now we can again so I'm back in our user defined mode so there we go so that's that's one thing very easy to set should you want to now the issue is, is when we come to start using the the scope the spectrum scope so again if I go into menu and turn the scope on so here we have the scope it's more relative to the fixed mode of the scope okay so if I touch that what you'll see here is a little center if I make it a bit bigger you should be able to see it so there's a center um, how can I say cursor if you like which replicates an older style radio with a, a flywheel and a, a little mo moving pointer to determine the frequency and again you can hear as I move along the user defined band edge beeps that I programmed in earlier so which is not bad that's okay that's, that's that works fine um, at the moment we can uh, don't think we can transmit in those because I the way I set it up but this radio can operate in five on five megahertz and 70 megahertz but they don't appear in the frequency display so if I'm on uh, this particular uh, frequency at the moment and I want to go down to five megs we touch that there's no option to go to five megs so you have to manually enter the frequency so if I do frequency let's do 5.25 megahertz enter so we're there but the problem that you have here is the fact it says oh out out of range scope out of range so we think well where am I why why and it won't now allow you to transmit uh, even though you're actually on on the on a valid frequency so you can't you can't transmit not why you're in this mode so in this respect what you have to do is change one of the limits normally if let's let's just give you a little example here if I go back up to say 14 megs at the moment while I'm in here you can see, well you may not be able to see, but take my word for it, um, we're currently going from about 14 megs to 14.35. Now if I change the edge, touch the edge button here on the display, you have effectively three options. The first one does the whole band, the second one does, uh, the way it's programmed at the moment, does the CW part of the band, and then the third option is the sideband part of the band, the voice part which is fine but if you go in there and have a look at those if I touch that um, and we scroll down and we see the fixed edges this is purely for the band scope we touch that and you can see there are certain bandings so on this particular one we're at uh, 14 megs so if I touch that you can see the three options the first one's 14 to 14.35 as I said uh, 14 to 14.1 is the CW part of the band 14.1 to 14.35 is the voice part you can change any one of those that you want um, I'm going to go back because we if we want to see the 5 meg portion of the band in the spectrum scope we have to go up to the 5 uh, where it says 2 to 6 megs I touch that and you'll see it's that's actually currently set to 3.5 to 4 3.5 to 3.75, uh, 575, sorry, uh, 3.75 to 3.85, which is great. But you know, where's the 5 megs? We'll enter it ourselves. Let's make the third option our 5 meg band. So we're going to go, say, from 5.25, enter, and we make this the second, the, the end stop, the top, top part of the band, 5.45 megahertz. Okay, so there we have it. So that's that one there. That's great. So now what you do, you go back right to the beginning. Uh, we go down to our five five meg band. Right, it's five. Uh, I just go enter. We get it there. And at the moment, there we're no longer out of band. Oh yes, we are. Yep, there we are out of band. But why is that? Well, remember you've got three settings on the edge control here. So the first one is the whole of the 3.5 to 3.8 megs. Um, then the next one was the CW part. The third one was the one that we actually changed. So if I touch that twice, oh look, we're now 
uh, five point where are we there's a little green arrow saying I'm a bit low in frequency come on come on there we go now you're in the five megahertz band you have the uh, the tuning needle cursor just where you want it now if I'm in there and if I transmit you see the transmit light comes on and and so on so that's that's the little quirkiness of this way that it sets very very useful function um, so uh, but it can be a little bit confusing if you're not too sure what you're doing but you know the worst comes to the worst just reset the radio like we did and that's another point I was going to make is if you ever have to reset the radio you will lo lose all these settings that you've just done so it's a good idea after you've got it set up the way that you want it you can save all these settings on the SD card so that's not a big deal reset the radio then just reload the settings from the SD card and you'll be good to go again so so that's good so there's our band edge beeps as predefined um, there it goes lovely right so the next thing that I'm going to do is actually wideband this radio I'll be a few seconds uh, you know with, with cameras and things like that and the, the editing it'll only be sort of momentarily for you guys um, when I come back what we're going to do is show you how that has changed how all the band edges have changed now that you've got a wide banded or Mars uh, adapted radio so I will see you in a few minutes right hello well welcome back uh, hopefully that wasn't too long um, what I've done now is I've actually wide banded this radio or performed the Mars mod for the uh, people out in the US um, the other thing that I've put on here just to sort of show off uh, what we one of the products that we do sell here are these little side plates um, they give you a little bit of uh, front protection um, they're just made out of a piece of sheet aluminium exclusively exclusively to Martin Lynch and Sons would you uh, so uh, so I'm led to believe anyway that's enough of that so as I say I've wide banded the radio so what that means now it should transmit from pretty much DC to blue light as they say um, but you know sort of certainly in the amateur bands so let's let's see what we've got here um, I've got 25 megs at the moment which is outside the amateur bands and yes it's it's going to transmit uh, great but what about the the band edges the band beeps and how does that relate again to the spectrum display so let's do what we did before I'm going to do a full reset on this factory reset so it's man 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 menu um, set scroll down to others reset all reset next and yes wow here we go and again 14.1 megs so if I just tune down now before when we got to below 14 megs you heard the band edge beep now you hear nothing so uh, if I transmit hey we can transmit that's great so let's have a look at the band edge beeps how they're set up now so again we go into menu set function um, we've got beep level is that beep level so band edge beep because we've done a reset it's now just on as default so if I touch that and go on to the user menu scroll down user band edges oh whereas we had 30 well there were 30 options before but only about 14 or 15 that we used we now we can see we can allegedly transmit from 100 kilohertz all the way to 74.8 megahertz so that might be a problem if you want to restore the band edge beeps and the band edge operation basically you're going to have to program them by by hand by yourself so you go touch the first one first one's going to be 1.8 enter 2 enter great that's the first one let's try another one uh, 3.5 enter to 4 megs enter and so on we can do a, do a few more up here so 7 enter 7.2 for the UK let's do number 4 let's do 14 enter uh, 14.35 oh, enter brilliant now let's see if it does it so here we go yay super and we can go all the way down to 14 now there we go now we've got our band edge beeps back on that band which is brilliant um, but you see up here um, 
the TX light, a TX indicator icon is going from a solid line to a dotted line as we go in and out of our band edges. Uh, however, the fact that the radio has now been wide banded, even though it's showing a dotted line there, it will still allow you to transmit. Unless, unless you go into set, function, up one, band edge beep, and include the TX limit on it. Okay, so now if I go up, I can transmit, and if I go down below the band edge, it will no longer allow me to do that. So that's with the radio wide banded. Once you've done a reset, you lose all your band edges. What you have to do is go through and manually enter those, the ones that you want. Once you've done that, I strongly recommend you save those settings to the SD card because if you do again have to reset the radio you will lose them and you'll have to go through the whole process again so that's it and the same thing that we had before applying to the um, spectrum display that's exactly the same that hasn't changed so I don't need to go over that again so um, there you go in that case uh, thank you very much for watching um, I hope you found this video useful um, again if you have any questions about the operation of any of our radios um, or you want to see a video of how something's done, do just let us know and we'll see what we can arrange for you. But for now, thanks again for watching and I'll see you next time. Cheerio. Bye-bye.